what's up it's me Marissa here welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here for today's video I decided to talk to you guys about the college process and give you guys some advice if you are going into your senior year of high school but basically I want to talk to you guys and walk you guys kind of through the college process that I went to to pick my college and just kind of give you guys some advice from the things that I learned. I am going to be using my iPad for notes. Um, so if I'm looking down, that's why. Also, so sorry about the lighting today. It's like really cloudy. It's supposed to be really ugly outside like all week. So even if I would have picked a different day, it wouldn't have mattered. All right, so first I want to just get started with a little bit about myself if you are new to my channel or haven't seen any of my other videos. So first of all, um, I'm Marissa. Hi, I think you already know that. I just graduated from high school this year and I'm going to be starting my freshman year of college in like two months from tomorrow at Kent State University in Ohio. So I am extremely excited. At Kent State, I'm going to be majoring in applied communications with minors in visual communications and marketing or advertising. I'm not really sure yet. Fingers crossed, it goes good. So if you guys are interested, I actually uploaded a video talking about my personal high school experience and gave some advice for freshmen going into high school. But I also talked a lot about that, about um, like what I like to do. When, once I hit like, I wanna say like freshman year, I became horrible at math. I never really had a huge interest in science and I've always kind of been the more of like an artsy person. So when I was looking for like majors and things that I thought would fit me, um, I always leaned towards more like the English artistic kind of side. So when it came to me to pick a major and like pick a college, it was really important to me to kind of find something that encompassed all of my interests. So communications for me literally encompasses everything that I like from journalism, the broadcasting, at least at Kent it does like they have a really good communications program. But basically communications does encompass my interests of like graphic design, I love people, um, business I've always been pretty interested in too. Marketing, social media marketing is like huge now. Um, you can also take communications into any other area. You can do health, like I said, global, which is like literally like traveling. You can take it to the fashion industry, the musical, musical music industry, film, anything. I can literally pick whatever industry I would want to work in. Um, and it's super cool. It's really broad, which I personally like. Okay, so now that I've kind of given you guys more of a background and more insight into me and like my interests, I'm going to go into like the process that I took and that I think a lot of people take. I don't really know, but this is how I started. So basically, it's really important to start with like your research. I know like a lot of schools, my school did, they offer different college fairs for us to go to. Um, as like a school field trip my junior year, we actually like went, it was just all of the juniors, we went to one actually in Pittsburgh because I'm from the outer area and it was huge, it was at the convention center, it was honestly insane, there was like every college from like every state there, it was really overwhelming, I'm not gonna lie, but if you kind of had an idea of like what where you want to go before going to those, it's super great because then you can ask the questions you want to ask to the representatives get the information that you need and you don't leave with all of these colleges and all of this information and you're so overwhelmed. Literally every single college there is going to want to throw pamphlets down your neck and you're going to be so confused. So definitely research like before, like kind of get an idea of the direction you want to major in. Like if you want to do the medical field, you know for sure you want to do something related to that. Just have that idea. You don't have to have exactly what you want to do yet. Um, if you want to be undecided and you just know you want to go to college but you don't know for what, that's cool too. Um, a lot of schools have great um, kind of like navigation programs to help you find what you want to do. Like Kent has a great one. Um, there's a lot of other schools, but like if you say like, hey, like I'm undecided, they'll talk to you about like their program for undecided majors. And you don't really even have to declare a major until you're a junior. So like to a junior like in college. So like don't freak out about it. Sorry, I almost burped. And then like also when you're starting to think about colleges, it's really important to decide and pinpoint on your personal preferences. 
meaning like what do you want out of college and what do you want out of your experience because I feel like that is really important like if you're really into your faith and you know you want to go to a private Christian college like make sure you only look at private Christian colleges for me personally I didn't really know what I was going to like the best so I explored a variety if you're like that too I recommend exploring a variety and picking schools that you could see yourself at potentially do you want to live in an urban area or like a more like rural area is it important to you to be located next to a major city you know maybe like you're doing business and if you're next to a major city that will give you awesome internship opportunities yeah I know it is kind of thinking a little bit far ahead but you kind of have to think that way because um at least for most students you don't want to transfer if you really don't have to so I think picking what you like and knowing what you like is really important. For me, I kind of knew I wanted a bigger school, but that did not discourage me from looking at a couple smaller schools and realizing that I hated them. I would say Kent is more of like a middle ground. It's not super big like the Ohio State or Penn State main campus. It's like a good middle ground, which I feel comfortable at and feel like I'll, I won't feel like a big fish a small a little fish in a big pond but like I can still branch out and meet tons of new people which is important which was important to me so decide your preferences really like sit down write down think about what you want in a college and that will honestly start steering you towards the different colleges important to think do you want to be really away from home do you want to be closer to home um for me personally I knew I want to be somewhat closer to home like for me my college is only about like an hour and a half away um, it's it's far enough that I get to be on my own and be independent, but it's close enough that if I need to come home um, If you want to go to New York City and you live in California, I don't know. I don't know why you wouldn't do that, but um, Like do you like are you okay with like making that jump because I feel like a lot of kids they I don't know why I'm saying kids like I'm not one but a lot of people they think that they're gonna be yeah like gonna be perfectly fine and they get homesick and then it's like they're home so really sit down and think about that like how close you are with your family some people it doesn't bother them at all but some people it does everyone is different so once you kind of did like your whole research thing and picked your preferences now it's time to pick your school I personally recommend scheduling your visits sooner rather than later I also think it's important, I don't know if I mentioned this, to research um, majors, schools that are good for your major. Kind of see what these schools are known for, but I'll get into that a little bit later. So schedule your visits sooner rather than later because you it's really good, I think, to do it the summer between your junior and senior year because you are off. You know, you have plenty of free time, hopefully. So you, it's a good time to get this stuff done before you get into your senior year and then it's like, oh crap, I haven't looked at any colleges and it's like going into January. You have even more time to make your decisions, get your applications in, and you're not stressing by the end of the senior year saying, I don't know where I want to go. So I recommend. For the schools that I toured, I'm going to go into them a little bit. So my first tour was actually Kent. So Kent set a real high bar. I loved it so much. I felt so at home. So then I had five other tours and I was like, oh, I'm going to love everywhere. I'm going to have the hardest time to sight on a school. And I was wrong. So I toured six. Um, I, other than Kent, I toured University of Pittsburgh, Carnegie Mellon University, Point Park University, Duquesne University, and Grove City College. No Ivies here, sis. I am was not at that level. Pitt was an awesome school, awesome program, really accredited for like amongst businesses. Like people say a Pitt degree can go everywhere. So I was like, okay, I love the city. I've always been a city girl. Um, and then I got on campus and I literally hated it. I felt so out of place probably because it wasn't more It wasn't really a liberal arts college. It was more of a medical college business I felt like I didn't fit in. Let me get to Carnegie Mellon Did not fit in at all. I don't know what I was thinking I was touring this place for um, I kind of was just curious because it's in Pittsburgh and I felt like I had a chance of getting in But they didn't actually have my have my major like I thought they did so that was like a straight-up no It was fun to tour and I felt really out of place in my tour group. Everyone was like foreign but me. Hard Point Park They 
were just changing their communications program when I toured, so they only had journalism, and I, that kind of made me mad because it said online and they had communications and they didn't, and I was like, okay. Campus to me was not welcoming. It was so dirty, and I mean, it is right downtown Pittsburgh, but like, I just didn't like it. I hated the dorms. I hated just like the places where I would be spending most of my time, I didn't like. I turned toward Duquesne University, also in Pittsburgh, and I really liked it. That was like my second choice school. They're also really into the medical field. They are a Catholic um, university, which is my faith, so like that didn't really bother me at all. Um, but I wasn't really concerned with that, like while looking colleges, I was kind of open to all my options. I did really like it. They had a communications program, you know, it was good. I liked the campus because it was downtown but it was still like in its own bubble and it was really nicely kept the dorms were like okay like it was fine like it wasn't a problem but the price tag was hefty and that was kind of the one thing that I was like okay when I came like comparing to schools um it was just like I can't pay I can't be fifty thousand dollars in debt a year like that's ridiculous it wasn't worth it to me um but I did really like it and my boyfriend's going there for music education so at least I know like he's going there um, that like if I'm going to visit him at least I know like I'll like where I'll be and I also toured Grove City College it was really small um, they had an excellent communications program which is why I wanted to tour there but they were a Christian based um, school um, it was I it wasn't exactly me like I felt like I wouldn't fit in there and they also did not take um, like government financial aid like FAFSA or FIA um, and they gave like no scholarship money financially that also was not an option but I wanted to tour because they also do rec musical theater which a lot of schools do not do and that was kind of important to me but like yeah I didn't feel it. Basically Kent State was my ultimate pick. My major they had my program. I love the campus. They have a beautiful downtown area. So I didn't love everything that I went every place that I went to but I didn't and that's why you had to tour a variety of schools ladies and gents. Sorry about rambling about myself but I wanted to give you guys that perspective so you know that it's okay to tour a variety even though you know your preferences. So my preferences match where I ended up but like it's okay to explore the other options. Once like you like are like once like you toured everything, it's really important to weigh your pros and your cons. Go with your gut feeling on what feels right to you uh, because everyone is different and remember that this choice is your choice and you're going to be the person living here for four years. You don't want to transfer if you don't have to. It's your choice. It's not your family's choice other than like financially obviously. But like you're really going to be the person living at this college for four years so you have to like it and don't go where your friends are going just because they're going there I mean if you guys end up at the same place like that's fine like whatever but like pick it for yourself and do it for yourself so now I just have like some other things um get your applications in early the earlier you get them in the better because like I said earlier you're not gonna be stressing out over them so the earlier you get them in the more scholarship money you can get so keep that in mind too um also look at your finances don't neglect them um even if it is like your dream school and like you like i don't know like i don't want to say like if you can't afford it like don't go but like just keep in mind you're gonna be the one paying it back eventually choose wisely and like don't neglect your finances because it's pretty important tour a variety apply early weigh your pros and cons after touring Oh, and I wrote this here pinpoint what you want for sure in your future home because you have to love it and the choice is ultimately yours like I said and don't let anyone tell you differently so yeah basically the earlier you start this process the better off you will be the less stressed and overwhelmed you will be because it is really it is truly overwhelming if you've never been through it before or if you're or if you don't have any siblings like I do because I am a first generation college student. It was a little rough. Luckily my aunt is the guidance counselor so she helped me and guided me and my mom a lot like through all of this stuff. It's a little bit confusing if you don't have any resources like that in your life. And remember, it's your future that you are dealing with and it's all for you. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And I hope this video was good, fingers crossed. If there's any, if there's any other kind of college videos, 
that you guys like to see, just comment below and let your girl know. Yeah, so if you are going to your senior year and you are starting the college process experience thing, I wish you the best of luck. Happy hunting, happy visiting. Um, always ask your questions, hopefully get your questions answered. Do your research and don't procrastinate. I wish you guys the best of luck in this, in your upcoming crazy adventure. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. So, bye guys.